Scorpio, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for mid-May 2020. And um, I'll start it off with a Oracle card, then I'll be going into the reading, and then I'll close it off with another Oracle card for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below. There it is. All right, so from the Alice, the Wonderland Oracle, you get all in the golden afternoon, inspiration, creative spark, imagination, conception. That's a uh, pretty interesting energy you got going on there. Let's see what's happening here. okay so the overall energy for the reading the magician you're trying to manifest something there's a lot of going back and forth in regards to a situation and it is in it is involving someone that you're dealing with uh soulmate here um a lot of conflict, a lot of pain, a lot of happiness at the same time, which is telling me that that's something that you or this person wants to achieve through all of this energy here. Let's see, starting off the reading, you get the Ten of Pentacles crossed by the Justice card. Something's happening in regards to uh, commitment that you have. Could go both ways. Could go both ways with this Justice card being here. This could be a separation or it could be something good. But we'll have to wait for the clarifiers with all of the mess here that's happening already. Uh, in your focus, the Five of Swords, this talks about deceit, lies, manipulation, things like that. So, yeah, this is in your focus. In your uh, recent past, you get the star. Something that you thought you wanted, something that you did want at the time. You know, it's funny because we're like, oh, I thought I wanted this. No, you wanted it when you wanted it. Then some time passes and you're starting to think, I thought I wanted this. Mm -mm, you actually wanted it. So that kind of expression with I thought I wanted doesn't agree with me. Uh, not anymore, at least the more I think about it. <laughs> um you get the Nine of Swords here in your strength. I feel like you don't want to be defeated anymore. You don't want to be... Mm, something that you're dealing with has brought you down so many times and in so many ways that you don't want to get in that place anymore. You know, in the immediate future, you get the Ten of Cups. This is happiness. We'll see what it hides when we clarify. Um, the uh, supporting energies here, the Strength card... I see you going through a roller coaster of emotions. So you need to, to have a lot of strength while going through this uh, right now with whatever it is that's going on. In the uh, hidden energies, the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it. You are aware of it, but I mean, whatever it is that you're going through right now, I feel like it started from here. You know, you may not realize that at times because um, you may be going grocery shopping and I don't know, you may have forgotten your wallet home. It started from here. All of that kind of energy of making you forget things or do things, I don't know, whatever. You know, um, you're really, really, really scared of an ending here. Coming up for you in the potential um, outcome, the Five of Wands, that talks about conflict. Let's uh, let's see. Let's clarify. 
Let's shed some light here on these energies. On this roller coaster here that you got going on. Let me go to the magician. The Knight of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. This is a situation that you're not letting go of. Um, the situation that you're dealing with. Consciously, you may not be holding on to it anymore. Subconsciously, you are. You're still hanging on to this. You're not letting this go. This waiting for either somebody to approach you or you wanting to take the move. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but this is telling me that you're not letting go of something. And you're trying to bring in action towards you or to to manifest this action towards somebody on your part. Uh, let's see this Ten of Pentacles. This is talking about stability. So let's see what's up with that. The Five of Swords, the Hermit and the King of Cups. I'm going to call you out. You're not going to like me. Um, I don't care. This could be you. This could be your person. But if it's you, please be honest with yourself. I mean, it's just you and me and I'm not there with you. So I can't really. I mean, it's you pretty much. Um, the way you're looking at this connection that you're dealing with. Yes, you have a lot of love for it. There's some sort of a distorted kind of way in the way you perceive this to be in terms of, I kind of get the sense that you're basing all of this off of your emotions. The reality could be different. The reality could be, let's say this person just doesn't want this anymore, you know? And you're like, no, that's impossible because I love them. Does that make any sense? Because you love them, that means they want it too. I don't know if it does. I see you thinking a lot about this because it's in your focus too, the Five of Swords. I see you doing a lot of thinking here about this. If the situation is as it is or am I distorting it in some way? You know, let's clarify the justice. Oh God, how do you cut the grass at 7 p.m. or whatever is the time on a Saturday night? In a neighborhood where there's, I mean, it's always quiet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, if you hear that, that's uh, somebody cutting their grass. Um, You get the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Wands for the Justice card. Um, hmm. I feel like something is ending. I feel like a connection for you is coming to an end. Uh, it's really hard for you to accept, and I feel like the way you're acting towards this end ending is very impulsive, very not accepting of the situation, you know? Um, of course, this could be the person you're dealing with, but and you do have here, yeah. The both of you are kind of lashing out. You're not really expressing how you truly feel here. Neither of you. Let's uh, clarify this Five of Swords. Strength card, the Eight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. I feel like this is a person you're dealing with, um, possibly walking away, possibly leaving or whatever, and you're possibly thinking that they are deceiving you, they are lying to you, there's something that they're hiding from you, they're trying to play games and things like that, you know? Um, you're you're holding them accountable for something. You're blaming them for something. 
I'm not sure what, but there's something that you're blaming them. Like, like, almost, it almost seems like you're playing victim. If that's you, again, it could be them. Um, I don't know who it is. So that they don't leave you. You know, it, it almost seems like that. Um, or they are doing this again. I don't know. I can't tell because the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups showed up together there. So I kind of feel like it's the both of you um, creating the these energies, like taking turns. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords. The Fool, the Queen of Pentacles and the Judgment card. Uh, this is an energy of when I get out of this situation, when I get out of this energy, uh, when I grow out of this and I'm better and I'm feeling more balanced and I've worked a lot on myself, I know I'm going to give this another shot. This is somebody thinking that. Um, I don't know who it is. But they're aware that under this energy, nothing good can come out of it. Let me clarify the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is you. This is you coming in as the Emperor here. Really, really hurt. There's a lot of pain here that you're going through. However, you still want to go back to it. Still want to get back to this. You're refusing to accept that this may not be your happiness here. Let me clarify the strength card. The King of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Three of Wands. <clears throat> um... This is somebody just not dealing with their pain, uh, whatever it is that they're going through. This is somebody that knows that they're going through a lot, but is refusing to just fix that. Uh, uh, this person is just sitting in this kind of energy of waiting to see if something changes, waiting to see if something else happens, just refusing to take a look at this, this Five of Cups energy. Pain, sadness, there's a lot, a lot of that going on. Um, in this connection, and again, I'm kind of seeing as the both of you doing this, kind of like, and it's, it's, it's a little twisted, but the way I'm seeing it, it's kind of like you, you two taught each other to act in that way. Now I attack, then you stand back, then you attack, then I stand back. You know, it's, it's kind of ongoing it's addictive it looks addictive very addictive and somebody's refusing to take a look at it and acknowledge it for what it is uh let me clarify the lovers The Three of Pentacles, the Star, and the Nine of Pentacles. Too many threes in the game here. There may be too many cooks in the kitchen. There may be somebody else involved, either on your side or on their side. But I feel like in the end, you're you're kind of like, you know what? Screw everything. I want to be all by myself. I don't want this person. I don't want this person. I don't want anybody. I just want to be me and be happy with that. I feel like in the end, you're making that choice. Whatever makes you happy now is here. You, your independence, your health, you being okay. Because there's too much commotion with this connection right now. A lot of push and pull. Uh, let's clarify the world. Wow. The Five of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is attached to this Devil. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is what opened up the reading, this connection that you have going on. What did I say earlier? Addiction. Toxic. It's not looking healthy at all. 
and I'm not gonna point the finger at you. I'm gonna point the finger at the both of you. You're both creating this. Um, you're terrified of this ending, of this connection ending. It's like a drug, right? Addiction, like a drug. What would I do without it? Let's clarify the five of wands for the potential outcome. Scorpio, get yourself out of this. This is not healthy. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. I feel like um, it's going to feel good. It's going to feel that um, the conflict goes away. <laughs> God, the more I think of it, the more it does look like a, like a drug. You take that drug, you're fine, right? The time comes when you need that drug. What do you do? You get desperate, you get, uh, but when you take it, it's like, oh, everything's so fine. Everything's so, I'm, I'm so happy now, you know? Um, so I kind of feel like the same thing happening for you. You are in the middle of this whole ordeal here. And then you possibly make up. It's fine for a couple of days and you get back to this, uh, This is a lot. This is a lot. And if that's actually happening for you, start taking a look at it. Start taking a look at yourself and how you're participating in this. And that's where it starts for you. You know, uh, the realizations, the, uh, just ask yourself, is this healthy for you? Because I don't feel that it is. Let's see what the universe has. The Page of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, you're unhappy here. You're unhappy, you're hurt. There's a lot of pain here. And you still keep on giving your heart to the situation, giving your love to it. Why? So let's close it off with a card from the Spirit of the Animals Oracle. You get the goose, inner knowing. You are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. I repeat, your soul knows the way. <laughs> uh, be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. Release yourself, Scorpio, from this. You don't deserve this, nobody does. And it's not your fault, it's not their fault. It's an energy that uh, when two people participate in it, they don't, they, they're not even aware that they're doing it. So I wouldn't point fingers. I wouldn't say, oh, it's them that got me into it. It doesn't even matter who started it. What matters is that it's here. How are you going to deal with it? You know? So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time.